teased. If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Oh my god, Brad, Sami Zayn's loaned up in the freaking shield power bomb. my god, through the table! Now let's get into this freaking review. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the brand new Elite 63 Sami Zayn and Dean Mean Machine Ambrose, as I like to call him, on the here on the channel for some stupid reason. Here we go with the figures, guys. You can see we got the true effects on both these guys. Uh, really well job, good job over here on Sami Zayn and... Uh, uh, yeah, Dean Ambrose. Uh, so, uh, we, we do have a brand new Sami Zayn here and a brand new Dean Ambrose. Ambrose, we're going to spin it around here, guys. You can see there's a picture of Sami Zayn here. Dean Ambrose's name here. If you spin on the back, you do get a nice image of both men. And I can say that the picture of Dean looks a lot better than the figure itself, but we'll get into that later on. Got a nice picture of Sami Zayn. You can uh, read these read-ups if you'd like to do that. You can pause it now if you can get there. Uh, you got the rest of the figures in the wave. Sami Zayn's name over here. Another picture of Dean Ambrose over here, and that pretty much does it for the figures boxes, guys. So now that we've covered that, let's go ahead and crack them out of their packaging. Ah! And here we have Sami Zayn and Dean Mean Machine out of their packaging, guys. And um, I'm really liking the Sami Zayn figure. There are a few gripes about it, but I do like the head scan, first of all. That's my first impression of this figure. You get plenty of accessories, but again, there are some gripes that we're going to get into. That's also one of my favorite Sami Zayn attires that we have gotten here. So I'm very happy that we got this Sami Zayn. And Dean Ambrose, ah! I mean, I don't know, guys. I think it's a wasted elite, to be honest with you, but we're going to get into all of that stuff. But first of all, we're going to cover Sami Zayn's accessories, and then Sami Zayn's figure, and then we'll cover Dean Ambrose's accessories and Dean Ambrose's figure. Ah! Alright guys, so covering Sami Zayn's accessories, you do get interchangeable hands on the figure itself right now. There are two fisted hands, but then of course you have his interchangeable open hands, and again, every time I see these interchangeable hands, guys, makes me so super excited. I, I just love this. I can't wait to use different figures in the Fed, and you know, you get more accurate, you know, fisted and open. You can actually pick up weapons and stuff way easier now, so this is such a big help with these interchangeable hands. Of course, we have his Bobby Lashley style hat. It used to be the Sami Zayn hat, and then Bobby Lashley came in and freaking stole it from him, so now it's referred to as the Bobby Lashley hat. Now, I'm just kidding, guys. It's, it's Sami... Oh my god, I dropped it. This is Sami Zayn's hat, guys. I'm not gonna say that, but uh, I think this is the first time we're getting it in black. I know that uh, we've gotten it in like a greenish color. We've gotten it in like a khaki brown color and probably a different color, but this is the first time we're getting it in black, I'm pretty sure. And then we get his cloth, yep, yep, yep shirt, you know, the yep movement with Kevin Owens when they were, you know, fighting with Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon leading up to their match at Mania 34. So this is pretty solid. I like this shirt, you know, it's uh, it fits the era, you know, with these tights of Sami Zayn going hand in hand with the shirt. But uh, that pretty much does it for Sami Zayn's accessories, guys. Again, we don't get any more artwork. Uh, they they switched that out for interchangeable hands, but I'm, I'm actually a big fan of the interchangeable hands. I hope they go nowhere anytime soon. But now let's cover Sami Zayn's elite figure. So getting into Sami Zayn's figure, guys, you can see here we do get a brand new True Effects head scan. We'll take a little zoom in shot. And you guys can see it's a pretty solid Sami Zayn head scan. I'm loving the facial hair. The hairstyle, I don't know, I, I feel like it's a bit long on the sides or something. I feel like it may be a bit too thick, but it's still a really good Sami Zayn head scan. Is it my favorite Sami Zayn head scan? I think, uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard. I feel like it has more likeness to him, but I really like that open, uh, smiling head scan. I don't think, actually, that Sami Zayn's had a bad one. If you We're going to do some comparisons in a few minutes and you guys will see that uh, he's always had a pretty good head skin. So that's solid. Going into the torso, I like the torso choice that they always use for Sami Zayn. I think it works. You got some chest hair on there, which is accurate. You can even see his hairy self back there. Um, going into the arms, this is one of my gripes. Why don't they give him, you know, the white, you know, the Dolph Ziggler style tape? You know, he started, when he turned heel, he started wearing, you know, the thick white wrist tape with the white taped up hands, you know, and uh, I think that would look a lot better, make this figure tie in better. Um, since he started wearing that when, uh, you know, he turned heel. So I thought that would be a better addition, but they did not do it. Uh, hopefully there's a figure out there that we can switch it with, maybe Dean Ambrose arms or something like that. Going down into the tights, I love these tights to death. You got the black with the S right here, the Z right there. You got the plaid. I love that plaid color going through, all the nice colors going in there. Um, on the side, you do get Sammy, and on the other side, you get Zane, and on the back, you get his Arabic uh, right there, which I don't know what that says. And then, of course, the SZ again with that pattern. And the only thing that sucks is it does come with knee pads. And if you slide down the knee pads, guys, you will see that they do not continue the design. So that sucks. 
if you want that, you know, Sami Zayn to, uh, you know, he doesn't really, I think he doesn't wear knee pads, so if you take these knee pads off, you're not going to get the continued design, but I don't think it would be tough to, you know, paint it on there if you wanted, but we shouldn't have to do that. They should do it on the knee pad and under the knee pad like they've done in the past. Going down to the boots, regular Sami Zayn slash Marty Skrull style boots. I like these. They look good. You know, they always come through in the clutch, but that pretty much does it for the Sami Zayn figure. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some Sami Zayn Elite comparisons. Alright guys, so taking a look at some Sami Zayn Elite figure comparisons, you can see we have the brand new Elite 63 here in the middle. Uh, sort of the middle, I guess, and then I need another Sami Zayn right here, but you can see this is the Elite 40. I have an Elite 40 fix-up with the TNF head scan on there. This is like a current day, you know, he's rehabbing, he's got the shoulder, you know, sling on there, got the t-shirt from Elite 51. Here's the current Elite 63. We have my uh, custom fantasy white attire Sami Zayn that I got from my boy Fig Skibby, sent us the, uh, our way, so I, I appreciate this white attire Sami Zayn so much. We have the, I can't remember, if the, I think this is the Elite 51, and then this is the TNF with a Elite 40 head scan. You can see, like, look at the good head scans. Um, Sami Zayn literally has a great head scan every single time. I think that all of them look like Sami Zayn, like even the Elite 51, the Elite 40, the TNF, the Elite 63. I think they do a great job with Sami Zayn. I don't think he's ever had a terrible head scan, so they keep up the trend here with the Elite 63. You can see, um, again, I think that they really missed the mark with this white tape. I think that it would look a whole lot better had they added that, but that pretty much does it for your Elite Sami Zayn figure comparisons. So getting into D Ambrose's accessories. Guys, you do get a couple weapons here. Starting off, we do get the shorter silver ladder. You know, we did see the same exact ladder with Shelton Benjamin, so I think it's kind of dumb that we get the same accessory with two different figures. If it was title belts, it'd be a little, a little bit different here, but uh, it's the exact same ladder that we saw with Shelton Benjamin, so we get a little mini ladder, and then you get this Royal Rumble chair, and I think that's a little weird because on the back of his box, it says with the shield reunited, the lunatic fringe stepped into battle alongside Seth Rollins and Kurt Angle at TLC 27. So if this is his TLC attire or look, why does it come with a Royal Rumble chair? I don't, I don't know. But anyways, you get this. It's got the Royal Rumble logo. No freaking sticker or a printed logo here. I think that's kind of lame. I wish they would have put that on there. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's one of those, you know, padded sort of chairs. It's got the padding on there and everything. So it, uh, it is nice. You know, it's nice quality and everything. Stands up straight like that. And, yeah. So then we have his interchangeable hands, and they are... Uh, the open gripping hands, whatever you want to call them. He has two fists already on the figure, so we do get these little interchangeable hands, which uh, come in great handy again for pick fetting. And that pretty much does it for Dean Ambrose's accessories, guys. So now let's cover his figure. All right, guys, getting into Dean Ambrose's Elite 63 figure, guys. I mean, my lord, let's let's just take a look at this freaking head scan. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I don't think I see Dean Ambrose in here at all. I, I think this is probably one of the worst head skins ever. I just do not see Dean Ambrose. I don't know what they were thinking here. Uh, it kind of looks like a creator wrestler or something like that. The hair is rubber, though. I know my boy uh, Figs Extreme wanted to know if this was rubber, and it is. You can, uh, you know, if you heat up the hair or whatever, you can pull this off, which is great for customizers. Maybe somebody can fix this figure, but uh, the teeth just look crazy. Uh, I think I saw somebody say it looks like George Washington teeth made of wood or something, but uh, yeah, guys, I, I don't like this head scan at all. It's just I, I, not good. It's not good stuff. I'm not a fan of this head scan, but going down to the torso, it's the same mold that we've seen before with Dean Ambrose Elites. You know, the, we saw this with the Shield 3-pack from Walmart. We saw this with the uh, I think the shield no not the shield three pack epic moments but the uh his Elite 25 figure, his other Elite figure uh, in the Shield attire, and then we have his regular Dean Ambrose Shield arms with the black tape on there. Those look good, and then it's just a regular Shield figure from the waist down. I mean, we've seen multiple, multiple Shield Dean Ambrose figures before. This one's pretty much uh, no different. You get a ladder and a chair, and I think uh, one of his older Elites came with a ladder or a table and a chair before, so... Continuing the trend here with Dean Ambrose Elites, but uh, now that we've covered his figure, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at some Elite Dean Ambrose comparisons. All right, guys, so taking a look at the rest of my Dean Ambrose Elite figure collection, um, we have the, I think it's the Elite 25, I think. I, I can't remember. I think it's the Elite 25, the Elite 31, Elite 36, Elite 41, Elite 63 in the middle, Elite 48. We have the Network Spotlight, the Elite 58, the SummerSlam with a hand swap and arm swap, I think, and then the Shield 3-pack. And then, of course, I have a fix-up Shield Epic Moments 3-pack Dean Ambrose right here with the shirt off. 
and I guess we can just sort of stick him back here. So this is my complete Dean Ambrose Shield or Dean Ambrose Elite figure collection, besides um, selling cigarettes behind the gym, Dean Ambrose, and my other Elite 36 that I have. Actually, I gotta I gotta grab selling cigarettes behind the gymnasium, Dean Ambrose, real quick. And here we go, guys. I, I call it that just because it's like I think it's an Elite 48, but I switched the lower legs with a Defining Moments John Cena and switched the shoes. And I don't know, he just looks like a middle school bully or something in this outfit. I just think he looks so crazy. So here is the last Dean Ambrose. Ambrose besides that uh, um, the other uh, Elite 36 in my collection but you can see just the different head scans I feel like we needed a new Dean Ambrose head scan but this is not the right choice guys out of all the good Dean Ambrose head scans we've had you know we've had you know this one rehashed this one rehashed the smiling one has been rehashed you know this one a ton of times before and this one just misses the mark I don't see the likeness in every single head scan besides the brand new one I see a likeness but, again, this is just missing the mark for me, guys. Tell me, let me know down below what you guys think of the brand new Dean Ambrose head scan. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at both figures side by side. One more quick thing I wanted to take a look at, guys, is the new Dean Ambrose with the rest of his S.H.I.E.L.D. brothers. Uh, obviously, they did not put the S.H.I.E.L.D. logo on his uh, chest right here. And I think that's because he's supposed to be in, like, this kind of top. So I don't know what they were doing. But uh, you can see him here with Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns, his S.H.I.E.L.D. brothers. If you guys wanted to see what that looked like next to each other, I don't know. It's it's just not a good head scan, man. But yes, guys, that pretty much does it for the full 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series figure review on the brand new Elite Series 63 Sami Zayn and Dean Ambrose. What do you guys think about these figures? I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments section down below. If you would like to pick either of these figures up, you can do so at ringsidecollectibles.com. Use the promo code md to save yourselves 10%. I honestly would recommend the Sami Zayn figure. I really do enjoy this. I love the attire. I love the accessories that you get. Great cloth t-shirt, great hat. Um, the only uh, issue I have with it is literally the arms with the no wrist tape. I wish that we got that. And then for Dean Ambrose, guys, honestly, it's a hard pass, to be honest. Um, you get cool accessories, but at the same time, it's just like a lot of other S.H.I.E.L.D. Dean Ambrose's. Uh, the head scan's not very good, in my opinion. You may love it. I am not personally a fan of it. But again, you may like it. So if you like it, guys, go ahead and go over there and pick up that S.H.I.E.L.D. Dean Ambrose. But um, that pretty much does it for this 2-in-1 figure review, guys. I really enjoy doing the reviews for you guys. I hope you guys do appreciate them. If you do, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Comment down below if you pick these figures up or you enjoy the figures yourselves. What did you think of the review? Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.